Right, Mr G here from Spartan with an eye, guys. Really excited about this relationship and I want to talk to you about our family of bipods. And I'm going to start with our entry level bipod, the Javelin Light. Now, if you're the kind of guy or woman that's cutting your toothbrush in half and going for a mountain hunt, this is really where you want to be. They're stupidly light. Uh, they come with a fixed one part carbon leg, come in three lengths. But if you want to go for a telescopic leg, you can upgrade them. All the legs are modular, so they'll unscrew. Um, go on to the rifle very simply. Um, comes with a kit. Plastic adapter, it cannot be more simple than that. I can put that bipod on quicker and then you can drop two legs on a conventional bipod. You know, it's just, why wouldn't you? So I've got no clutter under the rifle. With this one's running on the um, classic adapter. I'd encourage you to check out the gunsmith adapters, which are actually bonded into the stock. We tend to set one forward and aft. Um, just gives you a lot more versatility. But we have a host of different adapters. There's answers for Picatinny, Keymod, M-Lock, and a host of different other adapters. So we'll definitely have an answer for you. The nice thing about these bipods um, is even if the ground isn't flat, which invariably it isn't, I can straighten that bipod up and I can track my target which is pretty huge for a hunting application. If you're shooting at any distance, turn the bipod around, 180, it's now locked in place, and I've got the locking lever face towards me at the back. So it just gives you a more stable platform. You've lost your tracking, but you've still got your cant, which is important. So that is our Javelin Light. Now with the Javelin Light, you can upgrade the legs later. So if you want to run tack legs or the pro legs, you just unscrew the legs. The other thing that you can do with this, which is pretty cool, um, if I remove these legs, say for example, I'm shooting hogs, or I need a bit of height, I can take our pro legs, simply screw these in. These will also run with the Sentinel, by the way, guys. Um, and um, on the Sentinel, that makes for a pretty epic standing and seated bipod system. And I've talked about it before, but I tend to use a Sentinel on two legs as well, as opposed to three. And the advantage with the Sentinel is I've got the moving ball at the top. But let's not run away from that. The fact we can now have a seated bipod, right? So I've just converted my Javelin Light into a shooting system for seated. I can take it a step further. I can literally Lock those off. And now, you know, I can do that. I can even, with the pro legs, make it longer. So now I basically got a walking shooting stick system. Um, and again, I can just pop that on like so and you'll get my drift. So the fact I can do that from one unit, I think is pretty cool. Um, so that is our basic bipod. Obviously these legs will run with anything we make. You can run them on the Valhalla, the Javelin Pro and the Javelin Pro Hunt Tack. If I show you the difference between the Pro Hunt Tack, same bipod, except it's got a locking gate on the back of the bipod. So once those legs are opened, they're locked in place. They're going nowhere. I actually, for standing shots, I prefer to use the Javelin Light because you don't want the lock. You want to be able to close those legs and open them up. But if you're going to use it as a bipod out and out, that's the way to go. These have got the tack legs on. There's a small spring in these legs, just enough to take the pressure off and help you lift the bipod. Again, there's two sets of legs on this. There's a long and standard, and then you can run the pro legs the same way as well. So those are the fundamental differences between the Javelin Light and the Pro Hunt Tack. The only difference with the Pro Hunt is it has a twist lock leg with a rubber lock on here. So I tend to quite like that bipod, but your choice, guys. Then want to talk to you about the Valhalla. Completely different beast. It's still not a heavy bipod, but it's obviously clearly much heavier than our lightweight hunting bipods. It's more of a tactical bipod. These will run on a spigot. So very quick to put on and put off. Um, they've also got an adapter underneath them. So I can literally take 
any of our Spartan systems and run them with the bipod still in place, which is pretty cool and obviously pretty quick to use. Shares the same tack legs as the Javelin Pro Hunt tack. Just simply unscrew them and I can even run the trekking pole legs on these if I want a seated bipod or standing. So again, Lego for the shooter guys. You buy into this system, you're basically investing in a family of products that you can choose which best serves your needs. So I'm not here to dictate to you, we're obviously here to give you advice on what you need, but if I'm a lightweight hunter, that Javelin Light is really cool. If I want a few more bells and whistles, the Javelin Pro Hunt Tack is definitely the tool. If I wanna do being a lot of range work with heavier platforms, consider the Valhalla. Hope that's helped. Reach out to the Naya guys if you need any more information. They're well educated on what we're doing and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to give you plenty of assistance in steering you in the right way.